Meals are much different at the Hernandez house these days. Well, I like to stay away from the grease and like all the oils and stuff like that. I can kind of take some of the grease and some of the fat out of it. Tiene las servilletas ahí puestas? Where I learned how to cook better because I'm the one that has the control of, as to what the kids are going to be eating. I also on labels too. I started checking on like how much sodium and sugars and protein and calories and all that are in it. The eating and lifestyle changes that Hernandez family made came after a study that Danielle participated in back in 2010 when he was still in middle school. The Healthy Activities Partnership Program for Youth, or HAPPY, was a project funded by the Wisconsin Partnership Program at the University of Wisconsin School of Medicine and Public Health in collaboration with the United Community Center. In the Latino community, nearly one-third of kids are overweight. The project examines students at the Bruce Guadalupe Community School and the environmental factors that affect their fitness and health. We did blood draws, we looked at diet, we looked at the home food environment, and then my work um, focused on the built environment. And you guys work together. Access to healthy foods in the neighborhood, or access to parks, or places to be physically active, and trying to figure out what the whole picture is for uh, kids that are overweight. We were able to sort of really step back and try to ask questions and learn more about childhood obesity. What is it about our environment that really triggers this as a problem. And the UW really has multiple layers of expertise and through this collaboration we were really able to bring so many different factors together. And it was very exciting to be able to work with a community partner like the United Community Center. Through the partnership that the investigators brought in we were able to get that kind of consultation, that kind of guidance, that kind of creative thinking from the professionals through the academic circles that's out of our area. At the same time, they don't know the community. We know the community, we speak the language, so we help bridge those assets, you might say. So when you're doing a study, you're learning about our culture and you're learning on how to better service our needs. And she also has an inhaler. The data gathered over two years is being used to implement phase two of the HAPPY project, which is also funded by the Wisconsin Partnership Program. In that project, researchers are working with the Latino community to make lifestyle changes to improve their health. The Hernandez family has embraced those recommendations and has seen the benefits. Back when I was in like middle school, elementary school, I didn't think about someone being overweight or me myself being overweight. I was overweight. I was a chunky kid and I feel good about my body right now. I'm eating healthy and I'm being active. And you know, the biggest thing for me personally is that my weight has not increased. My kids have better attitudes, I think, because their energy is being spent with doing activities. The school and the community have really been very engaging to continue to work together. And I'm very optimistic that this is going to lead to longer term successful changes. These partnerships go a long ways because in the end, the one who benefits really is the kids and the families. It's not really about us or the university, it's what long term impact is going to be.